Today we say the action of Mary in her visits to her cousin Elizabeth. After the word took flesh in her vigilant womb, Our Lady begins to accomplish her beautiful and interesting act, an art of visitation. She is in Elizabeth's house today, bringing Jesus into her home in order to insist sanctifying grace into the soul of John the Baptist, thereby overshadowing Elizabeth by the power of the Holy Spirit. This great woman brings Jesus to us and takes us to Jesus. And this is what St. Bonaventure will say, Just as God descended to us by means of her, it is necessary that we are sent to God by means of her. How can anyone not see the duty of honoring this sublime creature who said yes in order to unite heaven and earth? The cousin Elizabeth teaches us to give her such honor as she means Our Lady today. The prophet Micah tells us in the first reading that the starting point of this salvation is the unexpected obscure town of Bethlehem and not even greater centers of Israel. But the one who is to come will rule over Israel and shall be the peace of all. The incarnation of God among us is a deeper show of love, the lay down of one's life for the other, as we see in the second reading. My dear brothers and sisters, as we approach this Christmas, we are called to be sensitive to the needs of others, just as Mary was sensitive to the needs of Elizabeth. Let us make this season a time to serve others from a pure heart. We must learn to carry Jesus to others. Just as Mother Teresa of Calcutta said, we need to carry Jesus to others because from the moment Christ is reborn in us, He enables us to serve others with humility. This is the time to put aside our personal agenda and reach out to others. Let us do our best to help a soul and we shall be blessed. Let us also learn to trust God in our life, just like Mary, who did not doubt the message of the angel. This is why Elizabeth said of her, Blessed is she who believed that there will be fulfillment of what was spoken to her from the Lord. Mary trusted God even though what was entrusted to her is beyond human imagination. Believe in the unbelievable. Today let us trust God in that ugly situation because our God does not fail in His promises. May we live for joy now and always through Christ our Lord. Amen.